Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back in here once again to Behind the Arc Basketball. Happy New Year 2021 out to you guys. As we are getting ready to tip this game off in a couple minutes from now. Big one going down right before the start of the new year here. Happy New Year's Eve out to everybody out on the channel here. Number 16, Michigan Wolverines on the feet of the season. Perfect 7-0 as they're taking on the Maryland Terrapins. This one going down at College Park for this game out in Maryland. Maryland with a 6-3 uh, and three record, but they got their first Big, East, uh, Big Ten victory this season. Earlier this week, it was against Wisconsin that they got the W, and so glad to have you guys out on the board here once again. As we get Colin here, glad to have you out on the stream, man. As he cannot wait for this one for me to call for his Terrapins out in this game. Nag going for the Michigan here. He likes Michigan. Welcome in, Coy. He's taking Michigan in this one. Bradley Vegas, the Mod Squad, back in here. Ryan and Ant, glad to have you guys out on the channel once again. Welcome in, guys. Happy New Year out to you guys as well. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it should be a good game tonight between these two teams. Glad to have everybody on the, on board here. The final stream of 2020 going down tonight here in a Big Ten Conference action. As I'll be covering the play-by-play -play of this one for Michigan so far this year. It is their interior Inside their front court, which makes this team great so far this year. Top 20 in all college basketball and two-point shooting percentage for Michigan. And inside as well, they're only allowing their opponents to shoot the ball at 38% of their two-point shots. That is number two right now in college basketball and in interior defense. Michigan going up against Maryland. They got the W over Wisconsin earlier this week in a shocker on Monday, 70-64. to Only had nine turnovers in their backcourt. Looked good with Eric Ayala. Ayala leading the charge. He had 17 points. Aaron Wiggins, he had 15 points. Very impressive victory there for this Maryland team. As we're going to get ready, tipping off in just a couple moments. Last stream here, guys, of 2020. Cannot wait. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up. Hit that like. Hit that sub. Happy New Year, New Year's, guys, as well. Yep, only four more hours left of this terrible year, and we are moving on to 2021. Turning the page out here. Ouch. Washington Wizards uh, picking off where they left off in the bubble. Oof. 0-5, that's not good. Yeah, I heard uh, Orlando Magic getting destroyed tonight. Yeah, against the Sixers right now. 81-51. The Magic came in at 4-0, the only undefeated team so far in the NBA. And yeah, they're just getting destroyed, and it's, it's at home too. Happy 2021 for you guys out there, out in Australia, out in Europe, out in Asia. Already 2021. We're going to get there soon out in the U.S. here. We got four more hours to do so. We get ready to tip this one off. At the half-court logo as this game gets tipped off. Now it's going to be Michigan basketball first. Michigan in the dark blue jerseys. Yellow numbers, yellow letters. Maryland at home with the white jerseys. Red numbers, red letters. Michigan has it first. Livers. Puts the ball at the free throw circle, moves it back to the left wing. Mike Smith has it. Dribbles now inside. Lost control of it. Ball's on the ground. Goes to the right corner of the perimeter, but Maryland slides out of bound with it. So, turnover there by the Wolverines to start. Eli Brooks tried to get it, but he slid out of bounds with the basketball. 20 seconds through, it's going to be Maryland first possession now. What's good here, Ryan? Glad to have you out on the stream, bud, once again. Ant here, 1 p.m. out in Russia right now. Quite the time difference for sure. Just a New Year's Day dinner, and now he's going to training. Best of luck out to you, man. Maryland, first possession. Aaron Wiggins has it. Turnaround jumper and a key. That's up. No good. Rattled out. Rebound goes right back over to Michigan. Second possession now. Livers takes a pass half court. Livers here drives inside, and that's going to get blocked. There's a blocking foul, though. As Maryland commits the personal, the clock will stop when 19-14. Updates in the James Harden trade here, according to Arma Armando, James Harden, um, according to him, Philadelphia planning to make their move to take Harden. Doesn't shock me right there. I had said for the past couple of weeks about uh, Philly making their move for James Harden, and they definitely need like more of an offensive punch as far as scoring there, which they'd be adding in the top offensive player in all the NBA. Historically, one of the best players all time. Am I staying up until 2021? Yes, I'll be uh, staying up till 2021. Um, after this stream, I'm going to hang out with my family, watch the ball drop for a little bit. Oh, yeah, just like a marathon for the season, of course, out there. Both college and the NBA. Michigan at the free throw line, both of those are good. So first two points on the board as we are 50 seconds through. McKeel, welcome in here. Raptors are winning. That's awesome for you, man. Big oof. Oh, Ryan uh, with TJ Warren on all of his fantasy teams. Oof. 
Chris, what's good here, bud? Landon, welcome back in the stream. Russell, happy new year as well out to you guys. Maryland jumper, no good off the mark. Rebound Michigan. Wolverines now have it top of the key. Eli Brooks moves it out to the left baseline. Shot fake as that is Franz Wagner. Puts it back into the hands of Brooks. Floats it up. Hit the rim short. There's contact. And the refs blow a whistle. It's going to be another Maryland personal. So the clock stops with 18.44 left to go. Oh, wow. Ben Simmons made another three-point shot. So, uh, yeah, Ant puts out at least he's trying. So, uh, it took him all this time to finally make another one, it, it looks like. Yeah, Ryan puts out Michigan as at least three NBA players. Isaiah Livers, Wagner, and Hunter Dickinson's looking really good this year. I think he, he should definitely be the Big Ten Freshman of the Year for this year. So Michigan once again back at the free throw line. Bradley taking Michigan in this one, 79-67. And they're perfect 4-for-4 four four so far at the line, so they hit both of those free throws. Michigan coming into this game, a really good free throw shooting team. Over 82% in the, con in the conference through their uh, three con or two conference games so far. Maryland's only shooting around 66% at the free throw line, and their opponents have really struggled. They won that game because Wisconsin struggled a lot from the free throw line back on Monday. Four zip to score. Maryland has it. 18-20 left to go. Bounce pass to the right elbow here. They get their big fella involved. Right baseline jumper. No good by Charles Mario. And gets rebounded back over to Michigan. Wolverines have it. Wagner. Pass over to the top here. Mike Smith. Moves it back out to Livers. Livers at the left wing. Isaiah Livers now dribbles. Moves it outside. Brooks passes. Feeds it inside over to the big fella Dickinson. As he goes underneath. Puts it up and in. That's the first bucket of the game right there. That's good for two off the glass. By the 7 foot 1 center Hunter Dickinson. What's good Jason? Happy New Year out to you as well man. Ty welcome on board. Sorry to hear bud that you don't feel good right now. Um, get, get well soon man. Hopefully things will go uh, better for you man. Maryland. Jumper. That one's good. For two. 17 and a half left to go. Michigan basketball. Mike Smith drives. Moves it out to the top of the key. Wagner shot fake as he'll go inside. Floats it up with a right-handed hook right there. And that's good for two by Franz Wagner. So Michigan right out to a quick start right off the bat in this game. Almost three minutes left to go. Or uh, three minutes through the first half so far. 17 minutes left to go. Maryland has it. Hands it off around the perimeter. Aaron Wiggins. As he turns the corner, dish out to the left corner. Catch and shoot three. Maryland takes it. They hit it. Eric Ayala hit the three. Yesterday's game was like a three-point fest I covered. Man, there was a ton of points on the board. Arkansas and Auburn for that game yesterday. What's good, Justin? Welcome onto the stream here, bud. Glad to have you out here. John Wall looking solid. Ryan puts out here in his Rockets debut. It looks like right now. So we're going to go on uh, first time out of the game here. 16.46 left to go first half. Michigan leads it by three. And yeah, right now first time out of this game. Michigan perfect on both of their shots from the floor. Two for two from the floor. Dickinson got the first bucket inside up and in off the glass. And Franz Wagner drove to the basket as well and got it for two. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I I was wondering, and then I kind of put the pieces together while I was talking here. Yeah, totally get what you mean there, uh, Ty. Sorry to hear about that yesterday. Yeah, Tennessee's defense, uh, they look legit this season for, for Tennessee's defense so far this year. All right, so that was a quick timeout. We got back into it. Michigan gets the inbounds underneath Hunter Dickinson with the ball, but they're going to call. That's going to be inside a, a travel by Dickinson. So he got the shot. It was off the backboard. It was good, but erased the bucket as it happened to go against Michigan. So Maryland has it back. Landon predict. Oh yeah, Landon's got the score from earlier today. Wisconsin. Yep, they beat Minnesota from earlier today, 71-59. Maryland has it. Jumper, free throw circle. Wiggins, no good off the back iron, and Brooks gonna come up with a rebound for Michigan. 
Here goes the Wolverines, pushing to about 16-10 left to go in the first half. Wagner drives inside with the right hand, no good, too strong. Off the glass and off the fingertips as well as Dick Dickinson couldn't corral it at the baseline underneath. Ball goes out of bounds, it's going to be Maryland basketball. Yeah, that's not a good not a good game yesterday for uh, Dayton there, losing to LaSalle. That's 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 a big oof. They're probably one of the bottom teams in the A10 as well. Maryland pass inside is gonna get blocked from behind by Michigan. Here they go. Dish out to the right wing, catch and shoot three. Wolverines take it. They couldn't make it though. Off the back iron, they missed it by Shondi Brown. The ball gets rebound by Maryland. Here goes the Terrapins with it. 15:30 left to go. Maryland dribbles, spin move at the free throw circle. Dribbles to the right baseline, puts it high, no good. Too strong off the backboard by Dante Scott. Rebound back to the Wolverines. What's good, Behind the Arc fan? Welcome on in here, brother, to stop on by. What's rare, Ben Simmons hitting a three or a semi ogile hitting a shot? I'll take Ben Simmons hitting a three, <laughs> even though it's uh, quite rare for semi to produce as well. What's good, Bobby? Appreciate it, man, for stopping on by. Happy New Year out to you guys as well. Same to you, Jose. Welcome in, bud. Brian, welcome in here as well. Uh, everything going well here, Brian. <laughs> Maybe it's the lighting. I, I don't know, but everything seems to be fine for me. Michigan going to take the three. They hit it right there, so they're up by six. Fifteen minutes left to go. Maryland inside had the shot get blocked. Michigan has it back. They dribble underneath, moves it back to the left corner, takes the three, no good off the mark there by Brooks, and the ball gets rebounded to Maryland. Terrapins have it, 14 and a half as we approach that mark left to go. Spin move inside, Ayala puts it up, and that's good for two. Four-point game so far. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I appreciate it all for being a part here tonight on Behind the Art Basketball for the final stream of 2020. Closing out on a bang here, and uh, glad to have you guys on board on the channel once again. Michigan has it. Brooks over to Smith. Bounce pass to the right wing. Back over to Eli Brooks as he drives. Dishes outside. Smith passes to the left corner. Wagner going to take the three and he sinks it from the left corner. Good for the triple there by Franz Wagner. Nothing better than a day of skiing for Colin. A Maryland game and then New Year's Eve. That is quite the day for you. That's great, man. 13.50 left to go. Maryland drives inside. That's going to get blocked by Michigan. Here goes the Wolverines now. As they have it in transition. Oh, they lost control of the basketball. Pickpocketed there in transition with Shawnee Brown. Maryland has it back off the steal. Here goes the Terrapins with it inside, but they're going to run over a Maryland defender. Mike Smith in the key right there. Puts his body out in front, takes the charge, and it's going to be Maryland basketball coming up as the clock stops with 13.45 left to go. All right, so we go on another timeout here. Michigan leading at 14-7 to score in this one. And uh, Wolverines looking good so far from the floor to start out. They hit their first two shots from the floor. Now they're four for seven to start out in um, this game. This game moved by quick so far. 76ers against the Magic, the newest installment of the NBA Blowouts 2020 version. Oh, yeah. Mavs against the Clippers. The, the Bucks against the Heat, version number one. And then yesterday, the Heat came back and they won. Man. The, the, Suns, the Suns blew out the Pelicans a couple of nights ago, too. Man. It, it's been quite a 2020 for blowouts. Hey, Happy New Year's to you as well, Bill. Glad to have you out on the stream here. He's got Michigan on uh, the favorite here for uh, over two on the line he's got for this one. I'm going to take that one as well. I predicted Michigan in this game. Um, let's see here. My my prediction for this one was was uh, Michigan here, 72-64. to 64. So I got Michigan by 8 tonight. And then it has Utah in a tight game against UCLA, but UCLA with a W. That looks very, very realistic right now. UCLA is up by 3. 51 to 48 with about 13 20 left to go. <laughs> what? The Thunder up two to nothing. Not even through the first minute in the first quarter they called a timeout. Ouch. Yep, looks like a football score going on right now. Two touchdowns to one touchdown. That's what we have going on over here. Over here for Jose, it's just past 6 10 p.m. 
where uh, he is right right now. He's on the mountain time. I'm I'm two hours ahead of you, so we got almost like 8:15 currently here since we're on the east eastern time. It's so a couple of games going on for college basketball. We'll keep you guys posted on what's going on tonight. Arizona up against Washington. That should be an easy W for Arizona tonight. 12-7, they lead it over Washington. One of the worst power conference teams all college basketball. And then there's another game going on. It's a lot of Pac-12 games tonight on Thursday nights. Uh, Wisconsin won today against Minnesota in the Big Ten, 71-59. Going on in action right now in the Pac-12. UCLA leading Utah. 52 to 48. As for the NBA, Sixers crushing the Magic, 98 to 62. Rockets, Kings, though that game's close, 63 59 at halftime, and the Raptors up against the Knicks now, 26 <laughs> 20. Yeah, Russell puts out so uh, Maryland needs two drop kicks and then a safety to take the lead. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> okay, so 14-7 to score. So basically two touchdowns to one touchdown we got so far. Uh, no Celtics tomorrow. I, I actually don't have the channel. So I'm only able to do those when they're on like ESPN or TNT, Bill. I don't I don't have the NBC Sports Boston where I am. Hey, what's good, Lee? Welcome on to the stream here. <laughs> I'm fine today. Everything's going well. All right, so we are back to action here in this one. It's going to be Michigan basketball. Michigan passes off left corner. They'll take a three-point shot. Eli Brooks no good off the mark. They get an offensive rebound, though. So they will back their way in there. This is Brandon Johns Jr. in the post, and that one is good for two. So Michigan running away with this one straight from the start now. 16-7, approaching that 13-minute mark left to go. Maryland really started, a sh they struggled offensively that game against Clemson. They were limited big time in that first half. And uh, right now they're just having a lot of t a lot of trouble. 3 for 12 shooting. Jumper for a deep 2. No good off the side of the rim to get an offensive rebound. Maryland takes a 3 and that one's good. Dante Scott hits that one and that is good. Yeah, definitely wish for that in the new year, definitely. Hopefully all NBA games will be close, besides like a couple random bl random blowouts here or there. But um, hopefully much more closer games than what we have expected. Three-point shot right corner, Michigan sinks it. They are on fire from the floor, 5 for 9 shooting. 12-20 left to go. Maryland has it. Tarpins dribble, Dante Scott almost pickpocketed, guarded by Wagner underneath. Moves back over to the top of the key. It's Marcel with the basketball. He hands it off now. Over into the hands of Scott once again. Dribbles towards his left. Scott going to take the three over Wagner, and he hits it. Dante Scott for the triple. Keeping the Terrapins at bay in this one as they are trailing right now. Down by six. Under 12 minutes left to go. So you yeah, had Dante Scott, two three-point shots so far. Man, has he improved this season. Uh, last season, he was averaging just under six points per game, and this year he Came into this game averaging just under 13. Michigan now has it. Takes it past half court. Mike Smith, though, had the ball taken away from him. Went out of bounds to the baseline. And the ref's going to call the whistle. Say it's out of bounds. Last touch by Maryland by Hakeem Hart. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I lost to that team. Last week, so yeah, Ryan puts out. He do, he doesn't know how they're one and zero. I I actually lost to him last week. It's because uh, of, I I had players that had had games get canceled last week. So uh, that that was just a big oof on my part because uh, I have Shea on my team. And yeah, the th thank you Houston Rockets for uh for uh the whole testing positive scare that they had to cancel their opening night game against Oklahoma City because. Uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander didn't play for me that game, and uh, yeah, I I lost that week, and I I could have very well won with just like one player being the difference. So 19:13 now as we go on another timeout here. 11:34 left to go. If you guys are new in the stream here, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Appreciate all for stopping on by tonight, and um, happy holidays out to you guys here. 
I'm behind Eric Basketball. Yeah. Yeah, la last week was a rough week as far as my fantasy team or so. I, I have players just going down left and right. But, uh, man, I've, I've made the case it looks like on the waiver wire this week or so, taking uh taking pretty good advantage of that waiver wire. Bill going to take USC tonight as a favor in that one as well. Yeah, I think that could be a very close game there between those two. I actually predicted Colorado for that one because uh, USC... USC did play a couple of days ago, but they haven't taken on like a like a good caliber opponent in a lo in a long time. That's the thing. But that that should be a really close game, and honestly, it can go either either way. But yeah, happy new year out to you guys. As uh yeah, that was quite the stream we had yesterday. Incredible incredible audience we had for that game yesterday. We also got the Discord link out there as well. We got my Twitter as well. And also the Behind the Arc Basketball merchandise if anybody is interested out there. I think everybody is uh all been here before right now. Oh man, Vegas 0 and 2. Here he comes, and I believe Vegas got the matchup next week. Is I think you're gonna take on me next week for the fantasy matchup. Lee here, he broke his femur. Oh jeez, man, that sounds painful. He puts out playing football today. It was hilarious, but it was painful. Oof, that sounds painful, man. Uh, speedy wishes right there in your recovery, Lee. Wow, 645 down in fantasy basketball. Okay, so we are getting right back into this. Yeah, I, I agree there, Bill. USC definitely has a size advantage in that game. I think that that could be close and go. It could go either way. Really good game tonight. Like, low-key great game going on. So, Michigan going to get this ball as they in inbound it. They almost stepped at the half-court line there. That was close, but able to get it into the hands of Eli Brooks. Passes over now to the right-wing perimeter. Livers. Moves it back over. Left corner to Mike Smith. Smith going to float it up in the key, and that's good for two for Michigan. So, Wolverines by eight right now. Okay, so yeah, 245, yeah, that's still a lot, because I was like, imagine if it was 645, that would be just so much. Maryland has it around the perimeter, they get tripped and they fall, the clock's going to stop with just over 11 minutes left to go. Lonzo with some positive points, looks like. Inbound coming up here for Maryland, right underneath their hoop. They inbound it at the left baseline. Moves it back to the top of the key for the Terrapins. Eric Ayala. He dribbles. Spin move inside. Puts it up. No good. Couldn't finish. Too strong off the glass. Michigan going to come up with the rebounds. Here goes the Wolverines now. Smith passes over back to the top of the key. As that will be Brown. He moves it back over to Smith. Smith back over to Brown at the left wing. Passes now to the left wing. And Smith once again with the basketball. He dribbles to the top of the key. Smith moves it over to Livers. Livers left baseline. Working on his man. Pass it outside once again. And Michigan has a Smith here. Two on the shot clock. Takes the step back three. Couldn't get it though. But he gets knocked down. And that's going to be three free throws coming up as the shot clock was down to one. And that is a very costly fall there by Maryland. As that will result in three free throws coming up at the line by the Wolverines here by Mike Smith. Yeah, Bradley was thinking about how we should do fantasy basketball playoffs. I would probably go for, like, the majority of the teams to make it or so. First free throw, no good. Missed it at the line there by Mike Smith. Did I think Lonzo could go back to the Lakers or to the Warriors someday? Uh, maybe there. I guess only time will tell. 
if that happens. Second free throw, Mike Smith hits it. And his third shot comes up at the line. That's good. So they take the largest lead tonight here. They're up by 10 for Michigan. Maryland now with the ball. So they have it at the top of the key. Eric Ayala pushes it out. That's going to be a three-point shot, and that is good from the top of the key going down there by Jarius Hamilton, the transfer from Boston College. Welcome in, Chris the Kid. Glad to have you on the channel, bud. Yeah, Michigan 7-0. They they played a really weak schedule so far, though, for Michigan. They're, they're ranked number 16. They're, they're not further up in the rankings. More because of their uh, weak schedule they, they've had. They've played so far. They haven't beat like anybody good so far. Uh, they're they're winning against Central Florida though. They beat Central Florida by 22, and that is looking impressive because Central Florida won against Florida State, who's ranked in the top 25. And yeah, UCF beat Florida State by 12. So yeah, Michigan came into this game 7-0 with victories over Bowling Green, Oakland. They won against Oakland in overtime, which is uh. O Oakland, I think, only has, like, one victory this year, and they've played, like, a bunch of games. They also won against Ball State, Central Florida, which is the good one for them, because Central Florida won against Florida State. Then they won, to they beat Toledo, beat Penn State by four, and then they beat Nebraska in their last game. Hey, Happy New Year's to you too, Raven. Glad to have you on the channel once again. Welcome in, everybody, by the way. So it's 25 to 16 now. Michigan just scored. Clock stops with 9:47 left to go. So it looks like uh, for fantasy basketball here, we got seeds one to six. They're gonna get the first round by and seven to ten battled out in the first round. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good there. I totally agree with that. Hey, Dre, welcome on the stream here, bud. I'm doing pretty well today, man. Happy New Year's, by the way, out to you guys. If you're already celebrating, or if you'll be celebrating very soon. Hey, Snake Duranko, welcome back on the board, man. I'm um, just staying home tonight for New Year's. We can't really go out any place in uh, my state. We got, we got restrictions everywhere over here. So, uh... Yeah, that's how uh, that's how my New Year's going. We got restrictions all over the place, so everything gets closed at ten o'clock. Oh, sorry to hear that nag that your game audio is not working, but glad that you could join the stream, bud. Chris puts out uh here that he needs the opinion about getting a tattoo in his wrist that says "Alone Forever." Should he get it? It's all up to you, man. Um, whatever, whatever you decide. So we got 9.47 left to go in the first half. It's going to result in Michigan here at the free throw line. It's going to be Hunter Dickinson at the line. He has got four points so far tonight for the freshman center. He is coming into this game. Number two score right behind Isaiah Livers. And also the leading rebounder. Really impressive season. And Hunter Dickinson, I think, he's got a, he's definitely got the chance here to win. Or uh, get, the, get the Big Ten Freshman of the Year this year. That free throw is good at the line by Michigan, by Dickinson. Maryland has it back, trailing by 10 once again. Maryland at the left wing perimeter. Jarius Hamilton hands it off now to Wiggins. Pass over to the left corner, back over to Hamilton. Takes the three, and he hits it. That is good. Back to a seven-point game, 9.20 remaining. Michigan dribbles right past half court. Mike Smith at the top of the key as he is guarded by Wiggins. Smith bounce pass. Over back to the top here to Shondi Brown. Takes the three. No good, though. Hit the front rim. And Maryland comes up with a rebound. Approaching nine minutes left to go. Terrapins back in on top. Hamilton jacks up the three. No good, though. Not a good look right there. Hit the front rim. Michigan couldn't come up with the board. Here goes the Wolverines. Moves it back to the right baseline. Right baseline dribble underneath. Puts it up. Couldn't finish, though, by Livers. And Maryland going to get the def defensive rebound once again. In transition, back over to Hamilton. Just going to jack up threes and see what happens. For that time, it was over to Dante Scott. He takes the three, and he hits it. 
So they were just down by 10. Now they're down by 4 in this one off of a couple clutch three-point shots by Maryland. Michigan now with the basketball. 8.30 remaining. Mike Smith. Pass over to Livers. Back outside here to Shawnee Brown. Smith moves it over left baseline. Oh, nice ball fake. Drives inside. Couldn't get it, though. Dickinson gets the offensive rebound. Puts it up. He gets fouled from behind. So Hunter Dickinson grinding it out. He's going to go to the free throw line coming up to shoot two here for the Wolverines. Clock will stop with 8.16. Yeah, I heard about that. That's that's a bummer. Definitely a bummer there, huh? Russell puts out. Just so sad. All, all the people that we lost this year, it's terrible. We we lost so many so many amazing people this year. It's a shame. First free throw. That one's good at the line by Hunter Dickinson. Dickinson so far with six points in this game for Michigan. He's going to have a second free throw coming up. He's also got three rebounds. And a block, and at the line, he hits that one, so make it seven. So eight minutes left to go. I actually did not hear about uh, MF Doom, it looks like. There's so many stuff that's crazy lately as far as what's going on. Maryland has it, hands it off around the perimeter. Daryl Morsell, pass out to the top of the key. They'll take another three straight away, or rolls around the rim. Multiple times, and it finds its way into the net right there. So that's good for a three-point shot. We are, we were awaiting that one for about a solid one or two seconds rolling around the rim, but that one is good from the outside by Maryland. They are living in this game just like Auburn from yesterday, hitting three-point shots, and Maryland today is seven for nine from the outside. Michigan going to take an inside attack. That's good for two. What's good, Jackson? Welcome on the channel, man. Yeah, Missouri just got clobbered yesterday. Tennessee's defense is just looking so impressive. Five-point game. Maryland has a 7.15 left to go. Maryland going to drive pro hop and puts it up. That's good for two. Up and in off the glass there by Dante Scott. Chicago Bulls, one, two, three. Welcome on the channel, man. It's like in uh, Michigan right now on this one. Three-point game approaching seven minutes left to go. Around the perimeter, though. Michigan gets charged with an offensive foul on the screen there that they set. So it's going to go right back over to Maryland as we take a timeout. 7.02 left to go. 30-27. Maryland was trailing by 10. They have climbed right back in this one because of three-point shots. Oh, so many people you're missing there, Chris. It, it was just a, just a terrible year. As far as the year in general, that's what I meant. I think December, December we basically covered for the month. Just so sad. So right now in the timeout here currently, we're going to take a look. Scoreboard update for everyone right now. UCLA in a tight lead. They're up by 1, 57-56 over Utah. And then as far as the NBA currently going down, Knicks take the lead against the Raptors. Ouch. Toronto starting out 0-3 this season. And the Knicks lead at 41-40. Pelicans Thunder tied up at 28 as the first quarter winding down in that game. Pacers. Got the W earlier today over the Cavs, 119.99. Rockets up against the Kings right now, 75.69. And the Sixers pummeling the 4 0 Magic so far, 110.76. Aiken, welcome onto the stream here. Hunter, Hunter Dickinson looking good so far in this game. Able to get to the free throw line quite a bit and draw, draw contact inside and go to the free throw line. He's got 7 points, 3 rebounds, also got a block. Having a great start to this game. He's a perfect 2-for-2 two two from the floor. Perfect 3-for-3 three three at the free throw line. and um, He's had just a great, great, great season here. Freshman who's averaging 15 points per game for a 7-foot-1 center. Incredible what he has done. Michigan, so far in this game, they are winning because of free throws. This is a good free throw shooting team for the Wolverines. And right now it shows they're 9-for-10 at the charity stripe. 
and Maryland so far in this game, they've yet to go to the free throw line, which probably for Maryland, you want to avoid there. You want to avoid the free throw line because they're not a strong free throw shooting team at all. And they've kind of been able to get, get good luck here with the teams that they have faced because other teams that they have played this year have struggled as well at their free throws. Because um, I was looking at the stat coming into this game, Maryland's conference opponents have shot the ball only 54% at the free throw line. And today they're going to take on a Michigan team here through two games in conference play. Michigan shot the ball over 82% at the line. Maryland able to stay in this game because of the three-point shots. They are raining down perimeter threes. And Dante Scott, a perfect three for three from the outside. Man, is he improved this season for Dante Scott. And um, already doubling what his season average was for last season as a freshman. Eric Ayala hit a three-point shot off the bench. Jarius Hamilton with two of those triples. And also a three-point shot made as well off the bench by Hakeem Hart. Leading score for Michigan, Franz Wagner and Hunter Dickinson. Mike Smith right behind him with seven as Wagner's got eight. All right, so out of the timeout here, we are back into the game. 30-27 to score. Seven minutes left to go, and it's going to be Maryland basketball. Maryland has the top of the key. Moves it over to the right wing perimeter. As they will turn the corner here with Morcel. Passes off the cutter underneath shot fake. Puts it up and that's a good look inside. Hakeem Hart for two. One point game. Uh, do I think Hunter Dickinson can be a one and done? I'm going to predict that. I'm going to make a prediction here and say that he's going to stay. Another season I feel like. So. That was a good pass inside. And Dickinson right there. Turn around. Gets to the fall for two. Able to get the roll. From the rim into the bucket. So he is perfect right now. He's got three of his shots falling down from the floor with nine points. Looking good. 6-10 left to go. Maryland drives inside with the left hand behind the defense. Good for two. They lay it up. Great game so far. 32-31. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Let me know who you're rooting for as well down in the chat below. If you're taking Michigan. If you're taking Maryland. Hit me up with that down in the chat as well. Yeah, he is doing so well this season for Dickinson. I just got a, I just got the feeling that he's gonna come back for next year. He's gonna, he, he's on pace here to be the Big Ten freshman player to, player to year. It's been phenomenal what he has done. It just picks off where uh, John Teske left off last season, and um, he, he could be way, way better too, cause he's got a high ceiling for him if he's doing this right now. Very young. At his age. Free throws to the line for Michigan. They hit both of them. 34-31. Uh, Armando puts out fun fact. When Kobe was drafted. He was drafted from the Charlotte Hornets. But the, the Hornets traded him for uh, somebody on the Lakers. Yep. Big mistake. Maryland drives right baseline. No good. And Michigan comes up. Try to get the basketball. And they do. And there's a fall picked up as well by Maryland. So Michigan in the bonus. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, Colin, the Maryland fan, puts out Hunter Dickinson actually said he was upset that Maryland did not pursue him enough. He went to, to Matha High School in Maryland, so he's probably playing extra hard here while playing at his home state right now. Oh, man, that's a big oof for Ryan there. Whiteside and Warren, both been dropped from his fantasy team. Yeah, I, I was the one who traded you two for TJ Warren. We, we kind of got even in that trade, though, because first free throw good at the line there. By Isaiah Livers. Um, yeah, I traded, or uh, I dropped, it, w it was part of that trade that I that I dropped um, Otto Porter from my team. I dropped him, and he was part of our trade that we did. First, first free throw was good, same as the second one. So Michigan leads it here, 36-31. Okay. Interesting. There was a late foul call. There was two technicals assessed on that last play. So Maryland just went from having seven fouls to nine fouls. As Michigan's going to shoot more at the free throw line. That is costly. That is costly. After after the whistle was over, a technical technical foul by Maryland. 
two on the same play. Ouch. And Michigan, great free throw shooting team that they are. And right now in the first half, they are 15 for 16 at the free throw line. They just won a perfect 4 for 4 that trip at the free throw line. And this game is just blown up to now a 7-point Michigan lead just like that. 5.30 left to go. Maryland. They trail by 10 at one point in this game. And the point's going off the border right now. Dribbles left baseline. Moves it back around the perimeter. Wide open. Hamilton takes the three. Hits it. Wow, they've been able to get space around the outside. And Jarius Hamilton tonight looking good as well as Dante Scott in this one for the Terrapins. What's good, Chicago, please? Welcome on to the streamer, bud. Hope all is going well. Happy New Year's out to you guys. Timo, happy New Year to you too, man. Michigan has a left baseline. Livers. As he backs his way, guarded by Scott. Now he's double team. Livers moves it back out to the right wing. Shot fake Wagner. Wagner bounce pass right baseline. Dickinson backs his way into the post. Pro hop puts it up. That's good for two. Total mismatch out there because Maryland could not get a big in the offseason. And Hunter Dickinson torches the Maryland interior defense right there with a left-handed hook. And that was good in the post. And Dickinson looking good. He has hit every single shot today by Hunter Dickinson. Four for four from the floor. He's got himself nine points. And also perfect three for three at the free throw line. As Michigan leads by six. Yo, White, White side in the bubble. He just kept on losing minutes in the bubble last year. And looks like this year to start out the season, he's just not getting any playing time. Because uh, whenever Nurkic come back, they're, they're, they've just gone straight to Nurkic and uh, not Whiteside. There's a late foul picked up by Michigan, and it's going to be a technical foul, they say. It, it was after the play was over. It was on Hunter Dickinson, and um, he's going to head to the bench right now, it looks like. So Maryland at the line. First one's good. Second free throw, no good. Man, falls a plenty in this game, and this is the first time that Maryland goes to the free throw line today. Maryland gets the basketball as well. Free throw is the key in this game. Michigan's 15 for 16. Maryland is 1 for 2. Terrapins have it. 4.30 left to go before halftime. As they dribble top of the free throw circle, and that's going to be... Another turnover by Maryland. Right at the top of the key there. Ayala with the basketball. And the refs blow the whistle and say that it's a double dribble by Eric Ayala. So it goes back to Michigan. What's good, Salvador Chavez? Welcome on to the stream here, bud. Hope all is going well. Happy New Year to you guys as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's... I would think he'd get more minutes there if he's on Sacramento. 40-35 now. Pass over to the left baseline. Jumper taken. That one's good. Wagner hits it. So seven point game now and under four left to go. Maryland has it back. Bounce past the left baseline. Dante Scott backs his way. As he'll move it back out around the perimeter, but he traveled. So that's going to go right back into it with uh, Michigan here with the ball once again. Man, Maryland's turnover is costing them the game lately in this one. Yep, Vegas picked up Peyton Pritchard off the transfer wire a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah, so, Kent, yep, Kent Bazemore now plays for Golden State. All right, so 42-35 the score here, folks, in this one. We're going to go on another timeout. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Happy New Year to you guys out here. I remember that, Russell. Doug Flutie made the last successful drop kick extra point. That was the 1st of January, 2006, against the Dolphins. Yep, I remember that was the game. That was uh, Doug Flutie's final game that he played in, and uh, Bill Belichick wanted him to go off with a bang. I, I loved watching uh, Doug Flutie. Play when he was the backup quarterback. He he was straight straight up from Massachusetts too. Went to Boston College, of course known for the for the Hail Mary during his time at college and yeah grew up like an hour away from me. 
Yeah, ne yeah, Neesmith right now, he he's just not getting the minutes. It's Peyton Pritchard who's getting the minutes, which has been shocking. Um, because Celtics picked up them in the reverse order. Neesmith at 14, Pritchard at 26. You would expect it to be the opposite, but yeah, it looks like Peyton Pritchard just, he, he's earned it through the practices, it looks like. So right now, scoreboard update on this timeout. College basketball games, UCLA leads Utah 65-62. Really tight game, though, with 3.15 left to go. Um, other games going on currently, Sixers, one against the Magic in the NBA, 116-92. Bulls, able to get the victory over the Wizards, 133-30. Or 133-130, to the final there. And, uh, yeah, Washington Wizards still still have yet to win a game this season. Rockets up against the Kings, 87-79. Houston looking for their first victory. Pacers won today against the Cavs, 119-99. Raptors-Knicks, very low-scoring game, tied up at halftime, 42-42. Uh, that's unfortunate there for the Raptors because you don't want to lose to the Knicks. And if the Knicks do get that W tonight... They're going to have a winning record above 500. they are going to be 3-2. and two, Where if the Raptors lose, they're going to be 0-4. Oh so, yeah, ouch. Raptors were looking good early on, and now it's tied up at 42. Very slow start this year for Toronto. Um, Thunder, Pelicans playing each other. Pelicans up 39-34. Yeah, Russell puts out here, definitely agree. Maryland's kept the seven-point deficit from getting worse in the get-go in this game. There was a couple of times they were down by 10, and um, they, they've they stayed in this game because they've been able to hit three-point shots. So they have, they've been turning it over quite recently, but just been struggling as far as uh, three-point sh uh, three shots is what's kept them into the game or so. Maryland's going to get the basketball back. Michigan took a three at the right corner. They missed it. So Maryland has it back. Top of the key, Marcel. Dribbles now at the right elbow. Takes the jumper over Wagner. He hits it. As that is good. Back from the timeout. Five-point game. This deficit seems like way more than a five-point game right now. Three minutes left to go before halftime. Michigan has it. Mike Smith pass inside. Wagner back outside to Smith. Drives, floats it up over the top end. That's going to be an alley-oop jam right there behind the defense. Brandon Johns Jr. able to throw down the alley over the top right there to the oop to Johns. Off the Mike Smith assist. Oh, yeah, definitely missed the Supersonics. I am with you right there, Armando. I wish Seattle still had their basketball team. Seven-point game. Maryland has it at the free throw circle. Moves it back over outside to Ayala. Ayala turns the corner, drives. Shot fake underneath, puts it up. No good, too strong off the glass. Help right there, though, with a tip in. That's good. Daryl Morcell able to deliver some help right there from the backside. What's good behind the arc, fan? Welcome back here, bud. Hope your 2021 is going well. Happy New Year out to you guys. BKC, what's good here? Happy New Year out to you out in South Korea. Glad to have you out on the stream, bud. Two minutes left to go. Pass the left corner. Shawnee Dr Brown drives inside, and that's going to be a turnover by Michigan. The ball was stolen away by Maryland, and the clock will stop with 2.02 as there's a ball underneath. And that's going to be a Michigan personal as they pick up their fifth. Yeah, Wizards should be able to win tomorrow against the Carl Anthony Townsless Minnesota Timberwolves. That would be really sad if Washington isn't able to get the W there. Pass into the lane off the drive. Maryland floats it up. There's contact and a foul. And it's going to send Terrapins here to the free throw line shooting two with Daryl Morcell. Hey, what's good, Vaughn? Welcome on to the streamer, bud. Minute 45 left to go before halftime. It was Franz Wagner who just picked up the personal from, from Michigan. A lot of falls recently in this game so far. Maryland with nine personals. We're only in the first half. Michigan now with six. And uh, Michigan, they've uh, just looking so good at the free throw line today. 15 for 16.
Daryl Morsell is the one who drove to the basket, and he's, he's going to go to the locker room now, it looks like. Daryl Morsell got contacted hard on, uh, on that. Yeah, he, he got hit pretty hard. Uh, New Year's resolutions. I, I usually don't make any New Year's resolutions, or, or so I kind of just go with the flow and just see, see what each day brings with me brings to me, I guess. Uh, yes, I'll be covering NBA. So, yeah, I, I, since NBA and college are going down at the same time, I've been, I've been, like, streaming, like, a mix of games or so. I covered the NBA in Christmas. I covered, uh, that ridiculous Bucks against Heat game where they set the three-point mark for the Bucks a couple nights ago. Um, my next NBA game is going to be Celtics against the Heat on January 6th. So, yeah, we, we have a lot of NBA planned. I think for next week, it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday we do the NBA. And we're going to do college. Um, this Saturday, we're going to do college. I think we're going to have uh, one game on Sunday as well, on Sunday night. And then I plan on doing college. So, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then the NBA for next week will be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think that's how it all lines up because of the national schedules. Russell's New Year's resolution puts out here, never to commit to any New Year's resolutions ever again. That's a good one right there. It's Austin. Welcome on the channel here. What do you think about LaMelo Ball's play so far? Uh, for uh, Yeah, I, I was shocked that he hasn't got like as many minutes or so straight from the start, but that's going to... So he he He's one of the youngest players in the NBA, so I, I thought he could get like way more minutes out... out out of the game, but the last game he had a really good game. That was his best one so far, so that's great. He's got he's got so much upside there for him. And um, the the Warriors are getting better. Warriors look terrible their first two games, but they are starting to turn it around now. So Frito is coming up at the line by Maryland, and both of those are good. So three point game. <laughs> Minute forty left to go first half. Somehow, Maryland, they've trailed by 10 points the most, and now they're only down by three. It's been a lot of scoring. Maryland able to stay in this one because they've been able to hit the three. Michigan has it. The ball gets deflected and stolen away in the key. Here goes Maryland as they have the basketball top of the key. They will dribble now inside. Hakeem Hart lost control of the basketball and gets stolen right back by Michigan. Livers has it. Minute 15 left to go. Dribbles towards the left baseline. Isaiah Livers moves it back over to the left wing perimeter. 105 left to go, first step. Uh, who do they think is going to win, Kentucky or NC State? I will take Kentucky there. Bounce pass to the right wing perimeter. Back over to the top, Mike Smith. Mike Smith dribbles, left baseline, shot fake, lost control of it. It's out of bounds around the perimeter. Last touch, though, by the Terrapins, so the clock will stop with 54 seconds left to go. Pascal Siakam suspended by the Raptors uh, for the game today against the Knicks. That's that's a crusher there for the Raptors. Walking off the court in their previous game against the Sixers. Man, that's a crusher. The, the Raptors are off to just a terrible start. Michigan with a jumper. That's good for two. Five-point game now with 40 seconds left to go. Maryland has it. Going to go burst the speed, drives inside, gets blocked right underneath right there. And Michigan going to have it back with numbers in transition. Here they go, Smith with a Euro step, puts it up. It's going to get right blocked back. Maryland with a big block right there into the key. And here goes the Terrapins with a final 25 seconds left to go before halftime. They're going to slow it down. So one second differential, shot clock and game clock. Shot clock down to 17, game clock down to 18. It's Maryland basketball at the edge of the half-court logo. 10 seconds left to go. Maryland has it. Dribbles towards the right wing. Ayala, pass over top of the key. Takes the three with six in the shot clock, and they get it. Big, big three-point shot straight away right there by Maryland. Puts it one and two. Half-court, heave at the horn. No good. Off the mark by Michigan, and somehow Maryland at home has made this one a two-point game going into halftime. Wow. They have been doing it, forcing turnovers. Hitting three-point shots. That has been a plus here by Maryland in that first half. And, oh, wow, it's been a fest of those tonight. Jarius Hamilton having a great game from the outside. Dante Scott as well. And right now it's only a two-point game at halftime. Because Maryland hanging around in this game. Nine for 11 with a three ball. 
Let's see. Bill puts out here. Utah or Phoenix? Utah's the favorite by four in the line. At, at uh, the game is at Utah, so uh, maybe the over. I I would definitely take the over for that one tonight. Phoenix can put up a ton of points. Um, let's see what we got. That's a great game. Very good game. I'm gonna take Phoenix in that one. I I like what Phoenix did during the last game. They were getting multiple players involved in that one. That should that should be a great game to close out the year. So uh, fa fantasy basketball is um. So fantasy basketball, we have a league going on the ESPN for the mod squad that that we have, and it's um like. So you, you draft out players from the NBA to play fantasy basketball, and then you get points based off of... You, you get positive points whether they score, whether they get an assist or a block or a rebound, whether they make a three-point shot. So there's all different types of uh, ways that you can score points and stuff, and then the points tally up. Um, you get So what you want is positive points, and um, what you want to avoid is negative points for fantasy basketball. So that would be missed shots and uh, turnovers, so... You get negative points if you miss a shot, and then you get negative points if you turn over the basketball. So I think it's like minus, I think it's like minus one or something, something like that. Um, but um, but the lineups are like you you have to have a you have like a position for all all the players you draft them, and then you put them onto your fantasy basketball roster, and then you have extra spots for utility that you have with uh, three extra bench players on the roster as well that uh you can roster and it goes every day so you just keep on setting your lineup every day or so and um all the all the players don't play every day so it helps out your lineup too because all the players games are like scattered around or so um do i think kentucky is going to make it a march madness uh right now i will say no to that they're gonna have to they're gonna really have to win a a bunch of games in the SEC to do so. I think what they got. I think it's like 18 games remaining in the conference for uh, Kentucky. They're gonna have to go. Yeah, they're gonna have to go something like six, like yeah, something like 15 and three, 16 and two, 17 and one. I I feel like they're gonna have to go because right now they've got they're one and six. I think they're gonna have to go in the conference something like, yeah, something like 15 and three at the least, because that will put them to nine losses. Anything more than nine losses, because uh, the SEC has been really weak this year, it's gonna be tough for Kentucky to get in. I'd have to say, really tough there. Yep, Chris remembers Emmanuel quickly hit the half court buzzer beater three. That was against Texas Tech, I believe, last year. I remember I called that game. I was like, dude, what was that? You just drilled it from the half court, and, like, nobody, like, even saw that coming. Like, right off the inbound, just sunk it down. Oh, Chris Paul sitting on the on the back-to-back, -back too. Yeah, they had, they had multiple players go off, though, for Phoenix. I, I would probably still take take Phoenix because they've had players just step up and just rise lately to the occasion. Kyrie paid off the college t tuition to nine students from the HBCU at Lincoln University. How great and well wholesome right there. Good to see Kyrie chip, it, chip in and uh, do that there before the year's over. I wish he could have... Uh, Done some of that stuff towards the Boston area to help out when um he was with the Celtics could have helped out the community over over here a lot more than um just hating on Boston and not 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 being into Boston at all. Yeah, Russell puts out watching the Maryland score come closer and closer. They remind him of the runner in second place using Michigan as the win break. Almost like Maryland is in charge of the game. There's a close game going on for college right now in the Pac-12. UCLA up against Utah, 71-70. Five seconds left to go, so we'll keep you guys posted here with that. Man. In the first half of this game, Michigan, 15 for 16, doing great at the free-to-line. 
Also, they're shooting the ball 61% from the floor. Well, you look at those numbers, they got 46 on the board. If you're just joining a 60% shooting and uh, only miss one free throw out of 16 free throw attempts in this game along with five blocks, you must be like, if you joined... Uh, if you join this broadcast right now and I just told you those numbers, you'd be like, dude, Michigan must be crushing Maryland by like 20 or so, right? Well, uh, no, Maryland in this game, they they were trailing by 10 at once, but they have hung in the balance in this game all night long because of the three-point shots. They are 9 for 11 from the outside for Maryland. And they have done it here. Two players tonight going off from the perimeter. Jarius Hamilton. The transfer from Boston College, he's got 11 points, 3 for 4 from the outside from the bench. And then Dante Scott, what a game he has had. Perfect 4 for 4. He has himself 14 points out in this game. Dante Scott has improved so much this year for Maryland. Where I think is going to be the score in the game, Kentucky against Mississippi State. Oh, good question, it's Austin. Uh, I'm actually going to take Mississippi State, believe it or not, to win that game. I, I was uh, looking at Mississippi State and um yeah they have improved a ton. They they got a player they got a player back that missed the first couple of games of the season, and um I'm gonna take Missis Mississippi State in that one. I'll go I'll go 73 to 69. So that's what I'll go there. 73 69 Mississippi State. I'm gonna take they 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 are improving. They started out the season 0-2, and, and now they get themselves a winning record. Mario, welcome on to the stream here, bud. Glad to have you out on the stream yesterday for the Arkansas game. I'm a actually not an Arkansas fan, but glad to have you on the channel, bud. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm a Providence and URI fan for college basketball. I'm from Massachusetts, but I'm like not too far away from uh, Providence, Rhode Island, where I am. Can Oregon beat Cal tonight by 14? I will go yes there. I'll take yes, Oregon's getting better, and um, I heard California is having quite a bit of injuries for their team lately, and I, I think their best player, Matt Bradley, is going into that game questionable for Cal, so uh, yeah, if, if Matt Bradley isn't able, to shoot, isn't able to suit up for that game, that's going to be really tough tonight for Cal. So, somehow, Oregon only won by three against Washington. Like, I, I don't get that. Washington's been just terrible. Washington's the second, yeah, they're like the second worst power conference team this year behind Kansas State. Let's see if I can get that. I want to see what I got. Uh, also, by the way, Duke, North Carolina, Michigan State, and Kentucky, all four of those teams, the Blue Bloods there, with Duke, UNC, Kentucky, Michigan State, have a combined record of 15-15 and 15 overall. So it looks like, okay, so I'm looking at this right now. According to uh, John Rothstein of uh, CBS, CBS Sports over here, he put out on a tweet that Matt Bradley, the best player for California, will be playing tonight. So he's expected to play against Oregon. But uh, another player, though, is going to be out, um, Grant Antisevich. He's going to be out tonight, it looks like, for California. So, yeah, I, I would take Oregon there. By 14, 14 points or more on the line. Or Oregon just keeps on improving. What's good, Jackson? Welcome on to the stream here, bud. Yeah, big wow. Maryland had been down by a couple of times in this game by 10 points. And uh, they've made three-point shots to stay right in this game. Luca shooting two for 21 from three. Wow. JaVale McGee shooting three for five. Man, quite the start. Yeah, three more hours, man. It's incredible how time just flies by. Three more hours till 2021. If you guys are new to the stream here, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out the channel memberships if anybody's interested in behind air basketball as well. Glad to have you guys on board. Check out the Discord. I got my Twitter link as well in the in the posted in the, the description. And also feel free to check out the Behind the Art Basketball merchandise if anybody is interested in those. All three of those posted in the description of this video. We got the Discord, Twitter, 
and Behind Eric Basketball merchandise. Hey, thanks so much. It's Austin for stopping on my man, and enjoy the rest of your night. Um, I'm just going to do this one game tonight behind the Arc fan. They had, they had moved that back an hour, and um, I'm going to just do this stream. I'm going to spend my la my last two hours tonight with my family watching the ball drop. Yeah, they, they for some reason, they moved that game an hour back, so if I if I was to stream that one, I wouldn't get to see the ball drop. So this is the only one I'm doing tonight. Um, tomorrow, I plan on doing recorded content that's going to be out for you guys to uh, start out the new year. So no streams tomorrow. It's going to be um, a couple recorded content stuff that I plan on doing for you guys dropping tomorrow at some point. And then I plan on being back on Saturday. I think I'm going to do a triple header for Saturday. If, if so, it's going to be Texas, Kansas at noontime uh, with the first game. Iowa versus Rutgers right after that one. And then at night, it's going to be Florida State Duke. So that's what I plan on doing for Saturday. Yep, six more hours for uh, Vaughn here till 2021. Yeah, if, if I was out on the West Coast, I, I would do that game, Colorado, USC. But we got we got three hours left to go until uh, New Year over here. So, uh, yeah, I'm not, not, in, not in Pacific time. So I dropped that game. So I'm not doing it tonight. Very odd that, because usually the games are scheduled 7 and 9 for my time, but this is an hour later they put this game on. So if they had it at the original time, this game would have ended now, and I would have been on to the next stream. Um, For some reason, I, I didn't get it, BKC, but thanks so much. Appreciate it. That, yeah, that's very odd. Huh. Very, very odd. I, I Yeah, I didn't get a super chat here for some reason. So, I just checked no super chat on my end, but I, I got the chat, that, man, that's odd. I've got the chat up and everything here. Yeah, it says, uh, viewer activity, no super chats up yet. Huh. Appreciate it, my man, BKC. That's, yeah, very, very odd. I know a couple people trying to send me donos from time to time, and um, they've had trouble with their Google accounts, I think, lately. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube, if it's something with YouTube. Because I've had people say, yeah, very odd. I've had people say with the community tab, too, that they're not able to get it on mobile for some reason. But it, it works perfectly fine on um, a computer. Hmm. Uh, what am I looking forward to 2021? Just Keep on growing with you guys here on the channel. Looking uh looking a lot to twenty twenty one here, just uh just hopefully being able to get back to normal life once again. That's the big thing. Is uh being back to normal life. Yeah, very very odd. Must be on like YouTube's end. Like it's been it's been weird lately with some of the some of the stuff I guess that's come up like on YouTube or something. Couple NBA games going on right now. Knicks up against the Raptors. And you don't want to start out 0-4. And the Raptors are struggling. But they just hit a three-point shot by Alex Len to take the lead. So Raptors lead at 58-56. Up against the Knicks. With 4.30 left to go in the third quarter. That is a very low-scoring game tonight. Pelicans up against the Thunder. 58-47 the score. Is that game's at halftime. Kings lead the Rockets. Rockets could very well be still... Still winless after this one. 104 to 97. Sacramento looking to go 4 and 1. And then in college basketball just finished going final. UCLA winners. 
over Utah. Close game, 72-70. UCLA able to win by two. And then Arizona looking good. They're up against Washington now, 44-28. to So yeah, if you guys are new currently, we're just on halftime. Spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Welcome in everybody out to the stream. Happy New Year out to you guys as well. Cannot believe that 2020 is over. Gonna move on to 2021 and we're gonna take that big, big ball of confidence and keep on pushing forward here, folks, into 2021. And we are gonna... Live the dream here with a much better year coming up. Go out there, discover, explore, be yourself, be the man in life. Do the things that you've always dreamed of. Be a fan of Behind the Arc Basketball here and support these streams. I'm glad to have you guys on board, like always. Incredible. You guys are the real MVPs out here. Everybody who has supported me this year. All right, here we go. 20 more minutes of basketball remaining, unless we need extra time to do so, which now it's a two-point game. So we start out the second half here, folks. If you guys are just tuning in, Maryland able to live, survive in this game by the three-point shot, 9 for 11 in the first half in this one. And Michigan going to the free throw line quite a bit, 15 for 16 at the charity stripe. Is. Here we go right into the second half. Hunter Dickinson, left baseline, has it, puts up the jumpers, no good though. Off the rim, gets rebounded by Maryland. Maryland with the basketball, 20 seconds through the second half. A dribble right baseline for the Terrapins. As that is Dante Scott. Moves it back out to the right wing, but air mails it, out of bounds. Bad turnover right there to start off for us. They were looking for Aaron Wiggins around the perimeter, but way, way over his head, out of bounds. Hey, thanks so much, Chris the Kid. Appreciate it, bud, for being a part of the mod squad. Definitely earned it, man. Michigan ha has a top of the key. Mike Smith, second possession now, second half for Michigan. Wolverines basketball bounce pass into the hands of Wagner. Puts it back outside the livers. Wagner has it once again. Right baseline. Feeds inside of Dickinson. Backs his way underneath. Hunter Dickinson got pickpocketed with the ball, but his teammate right place, right time for Wagner. Able to get it back. Dickinson. Moves it around the perimeter. That's going to go drive inside. Smith to the bucket and he lost control of it. He was trying to put it up. Couldn't get it though. Out of his hands. Lost control of it. Out of bounds. Vegas looking forward to graduation. That is great, man. Can't believe uh, all these years have just flown right by here for you guys in the channel. Chris looking forward to leaving his house. Being back to normal. Definitely, man. Cannot wait for uh, everything to go back to normal someday. To go out there and for uh, fans to be in the stands. So here we go. Maryland with the basketball. 19 minutes left to go. They have it at the top of the key for the Terrapins. Only a two-point game. They'll take a three straight away. No good hit the front rim. Rebound Michigan. Here goes the Wolverines. Pass half court. Isaiah Liver shovels it out. Right wing. Into the hands of Wagner. Pass over left corner three in the air. Brooks, no good off the mark. Missed it. Maryland gets the rebound. Uh, Michigan struggling from the perimeter today. They're three for ten from the outside. Maryland has it now. Top of the key. They'll dribble back. Take a three. Straight away, they hit it. Right downtown for that one. And Maryland takes their first lead of the game, 47-46. Big, big triple right there. 18-15 left to go. Michigan basketball, Eli Brooks, moves back outside of Wagner, back out to the top of the key to Brooks, they gotta, they gotta attack to the basket and get points inside if you're Michigan, Mike Smith has a shot fake, as he dribbles now, spin move at the free throw circle, able to get some clearance right there, jumper, got it for two, that was nasty by Mike Smith, goes step back, jumper right at the free throw circle there, Michigan takes the lead by one, Maryland ball, 17.45 left to go, Top of the key. They'll move it over to Ayala. Left wing. Pass out to the top once again. Over to Ayala. He dribbles. Drives on their knee. Guarded by Dickinson. Able to get by him. That's good for two. Up and in off the glass. By Eric Ayala. Maryland takes the lead once again. 49-48. 17 and a half remaining. Michigan basketball. Wolverines have it at the top of the key. Brooks moves it back out to the right corner. 
Pass out to the top of the key. Brooks dribble drive inside. Splits defenders right behind the defense. Lays it up and in with the left hand. That is good. Breaks. The lead change once again. Michigan by one. Approaching the three-minute mark through the second half with 17 minutes left remaining in this game. Maryland has it. At the left wing perimeter, Hakeem Hart puts it at the top of the key here for the Terrapins. They dribble now. Ayala, burst of speed, drives inside once again behind Dickinson. Circles around the rim, moves it back outside. Ball now at the right wing, Scott. Scott shot fake, dribbles. Stop and pop jumper, right baseline, Jay, no good. Offensive rebound, they put it up. They're going to call a foul, though. Right underneath, clock will stop with 16-44. And that's going to be a personal. It appears to be on Hunter Dickinson here in Michigan. Oh, yeah, Chris. Freshman year of high school. It goes by so fast, man. Sixteen forty-four left to go. It's going to be two free throws coming up in the line here by Maryland. Number 13, Hakeem Hart. First one is good. He hits it. Tie game 50 even. Great one so far. Second free throw. No good rattled out. Rebound goes back over to Michigan. Isaiah Livers with a rebound. Puts the ball now into the hands of Smith. Bounce pass top of the key. Livers moves it out to the left quarter. Smith has it. The three ball just ain't working today for Michigan. As they're going to take a three here with Livers. That one hit the rim short. Tipped up and tipped out of bounds by Dickinson at the baseline. So Maryland's going to have it back, and we're in a tie game here, folks, right now. Oh, that's awesome, Chris. Next year, he's going to go save up his money and then build a PC and make beats and sell them. That's great, man. Best of luck to you, bud. 16-20 left to go here. Maryland has it. They're going to hand it off around the perimeter. Ball now into the hands of Dante Scott. Scott balance pass, free throw circle over to Galen Smith. He moves it back, shot fake Wiggins. Wiggins backs his way. Wiggins now takes the jumper to right elbow. That was an air ball, no good. And Michigan coming up with a rebound. Here goes the Wolverines to get the ball poked from behind and stolen right back here by Maryland. Maryland in transition, floats it up ahead of the pack and the layup. Reverse hand goes down, that's good for two. Hakeem Hart off the bench gets down in the Terrapins with their largest lead tonight by two. 15-40 left to go, Michigan. Tries to attack this time. Livers lost control of the basketball. Maryland comes out with a steal. Maryland had tur had turnover issues in the late stage of the first half. And now it's Michigan right now. At the top of the key, Maryland has it. Boosted back free throw circle over into the hands of Smith. And that's going to be a foul. Away from the ball. Clock will stop now with 15.35 le uh, yeah, 15 left to go. Hey, what's good, Red Jiv? Welcome out to the streamer, bud. Glad to have you on the stream, man. And uh, Happy New Year to you, too, man. Yeah, yeah, I actually don't get the Rockets game where I am because I, I don't have NBA League Pass and only, like, uh, local areas are able to get that game tonight. But, yeah, I heard it's a good one. Yeah, tight game right now against the Kings. 3.20 left to go. Two-point game. Kings up 110-108 to score. If you guys are new here, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Glad to have you guys on the channel here. I'm behind Eric Basketball tonight. A couple scores going on throughout college basketball. Arizona leads Washington 48-30. And then UCLA able to get the victory today over Utah 72-70. Hey, you're the man, Chris. Really appreciate it, brother. You guys are awesome. Boise State right now crushing San Jose State, 54-27. Uh, Boise State looking to part this year. They only got one loss. It's against Houston. I think Boise State's going to make it to the NCAA tournament. In this game right now, second half really sloppy for Michigan. Quite a bit of turnovers. Just cannot connect from three-point range today. And leading score, it's Hunter Dickinson. He has got 11 for the Wolverines. Mike Smith also with 11 out in this game. Where are they going to go, though? Mike Smith, he, he hit a three-point shot. Franz Wagner, two for three from the outside, so he's been good. Shawty Brown's really struggled tonight. He's missed all three shots from from the perimeter. And um, for Maryland, it's been Dante Scott. He's hit four three-point shots. 
And then also, Jarius Hamilton with three three-point shots, and Eric Ayala also got 10 points. Ouch. TJ Warren going to have surgery to repair a stress fracture in his left foot. Yeah, that's a big oof. Ouch. Uh, yeah, sure, Lee. Feel free to let me know, man. That's awesome, Chris. He's pretty good at writing freestyle music to, uh, might just go and write music, sell beats on the side. That's great, bud. So we are, yeah, we're in the second half right now. So you just updated here. 52 to 50 to score. 15 21 left to go in the second half, folks, in this one. We're on a timeout currently. That's why. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe here, folks. Glad to have you on the channel once again here on Behind Eric Basketball. Very good game between these two teams. Michigan should be having the lead right now in this one. But, man, Maryland with the three-point shots in the first half. They have looked great from the perimeter, shooting 10 for 13 from the outside. Chicken Man, welcome on the stream, bud. We have 15-20 left to go. So we get right back into it. It's going to be Maryland basketball. They're up by two. They were trailing by 10 in the first half. Indeed, talk about a comeback for Maryland here. Down by double digits, able to take a two-point lead. Largest one of the game. Around the perimeter, Maryland has it. Approaching 15 minutes left to go. They're going to float up inside. That's good for two. They extend it. They got their largest lead now by four. <laughs> Yeah, might as well the Fortnite uh Fortnite player to the to the idiot right there. Might as well uh not play video games for that guy, I guess. Michigan. No good on the jumper to get the offensive rebound, put it back outside, and that's good for the triple by Franz Wagner. It's a one point game here with fourteen and a half minutes left to go. Maryland has the top of the key. As that is Ayala with the basketball. Puts it now into the hands of Scott. Dante Scott having a great game. Shot fake. Hamilton also having a great game off the bench. Bounce pass inside. Gets stripped to the basketball. Galen Smith couldn't finish it. Maryland with a steal. Oh, nice ball perimeter movement. Left corner here with Wagner. As he has it, swings it inside over to Dickinson, but there's a foul called. Michigan picks up the foul away from the basketball. It's going to go right back over to Maryland. I took Michigan in this one. Um... Yeah, so I took Michigan in this game by 8. It was 72-64, to 64, my prediction for Michigan to win. <laughs> Brian puts out Dante Scott as his daddy. Maryland going to have it back. They lead by 1. Approaching 14 minutes left to go. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up. Hit that like, hit that sub. Ring that notification bell as well as we got... Less than three hours on the East Coast before we ring in the New Year. Maryland dribbles. Underneath the rim, going to dribble right back outside. Ayala, guarded by Dickinson at the top. Takes the step back three straight away. Rattled out, no good. Tipped up. Fight for the rebound. And Hunter Dickinson going to come up with a rebound. Michigan has it back. Close game indeed. One point game. Brooks dribbles. Has that the left elbow. Pass outside of Livers. Top of the key. Moves it back outside to Eli Brooks. Brooks now has it at the left wing. 13-30. Left to go, Michigan with the basketballs. They will dribble here. Mike Smith, deep two, step back. He takes it. He has got it. That is good for two. One point Michigan lead, 55-54. Uh, yes, I, pl I plan on covering that on uh, Saturday after Kansas, Texas. I plan on covering I Iowa Rutgers. Maryland floats it up, no good. Rebound Michigan. Here goes the Wolverines, going to slow it down. Mike Smith. He has been good as a late. Great transfer pickup from Columbia. Puts the ball into the hands here. Wagner. Bounce pass over to the big fella right there. Off the roll. Dickinson as that is good for two. Puts it up and in off the glass. As the clock will stop with 13 minutes left to go. And he gets fouled. as the clock will stop here. Big, big bucket right there. Off the rollout screen underneath by Hunter Dickinson. And great vision by Franz Wagner. Right in the key off the bounce pass to see him rolling out right behind the defense to put it up and in off the glass. Uh, not sure, not sure yet when the next Kentucky game is. We'll we'll have to see when when uh more games get called in the schedule or so. Um, I plan on covering for uh, this week college on Saturday. 
probably Sunday for the night game for Houston SMU as well. Uh, Monday will be college, Tuesday college, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is going to be the NBA for this week, I think. All right, free throw is good at the line, 58-54. Maryland down by four. They were just up by four. And now Michigan on an eight-zip run. Here's the Terrapins with the basketball, top of the key. As smart the freshman has it. Maryland with 12 and a half left to go. Hakeem Hart puts the ball at the right wing into the hands of Dante Scott. He dribbles, guarded by Wagner. Hands it off now, and that's going to be a three-point shot by Smart, the freshman. It goes out of bounds. Air ball at the left side of the rim right there by Aquan Smart, and it goes out of bounds. So it's going to go right back over to Michigan. Twelve and a half left to go. Eight zip run by Michigan and just under the past three minutes. Franz Wagner pass inside to the big fella Dickinson. Oh, nice feed. Right baseline cut. That's good for two with a flush. Eli Brooks right there off the assist by Hunter Dickinson. Nice pass at the right baseline there by Dickinson. Maryland goes inside and they're going to put it up and in off the glass for a quick bucket for two. Four point game. Twelve minutes left to go. Great game tonight. Michigan has it. Bounce pass. Livers. Dribbles, but he travels with it. At the free throw circle. Maryland going to get the basketball back here with 11.55 remaining. If you guys are new, spike the thumbs up. Hit that like. Hit that sub. Well, what a way to end, it, uh, end the year, folks, in 2020. Hunter Dickinson looking like he's going to be the Big Ten Freshman Player of the Year. Double teamed at the left baseline. Swings it over off the cutter to the right baseline a couple moments ago. Over to Eli Brooks, and he throws it down with a two-handed flush. Michigan tonight, four players in double figures. Dickinson leads the way. He's got himself 14 points and four rebounds, a block and a steal. Five for seven from the floor by Dickinson. In a, or five for six from the floor by Dickinson in this game. And um, Actually, yeah, Dickinson got six rebounds. I was looking at Wagner's stat line. So Dickinson right now, 14 points, six rebounds tonight, and a block by Dickinson. Five for six from the floor by him. Franz Wagner right behind him, 13 points tonight. And also Mike Smith, great pickup from Columbia, 13 points, 10 points by Eli Brooks. Hey, welcome in, Sam. Appreciate bud, for stopping them by. Uh, I'm just going to cover this game tonight. Um, I, I was planning on covering that one, but that game got pushed off to an hour later. So I, I live out in the East Coast in Mass, so I'm um, I'm going to I'm gonna watch the ball drop tonight instead since we got like two and a half hours left to go before midnight over here. So it's just this one game tonight. So... So it's only just this one game tonight. Uh, this game had been originally scheduled for 7. Then they pushed it back to 8, which led to uh, USC and Colorado getting pushed back to 10. couple of scoreboard updates for everybody. Arizona crushing Washington. No surprise there. Arizona, by the way, they, ju they just got an NCAA tournament ban. So they're not even eligible for this year's tournament due to a bribery scandal for Arizona. So Arizona crushing Washington. Ah, that's too bad for Arizona. They got a record of 7-1. and one. They're going to be 8-1 and one right after this game, and they're not eligible for this year's tournament. They're up against Washington 58-37 to now. Boise State, watch out for them. They put up 54 points on the board at halftime. They, they got a record of 6-1. and one. Their only loss this year was against number 5 ranked Houston. Very early in the season, back in November, Boise State leads at 54-29. to And then, as far as other games going on, UCLA able to squeak out the victory against Utah, 72-70. Yeah, I think we're all set for jokes here tonight. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, 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 I unfortunately can't do that, Chris, due to, like, copyright rules. I get my channel taken down. I get, like, a strike for it. Um, if you guys didn't know, you can't show the television. It's not only for sports. You can't show the TV, but anything for, like, national TV, whether it's, like, the ball drop or whether it's an election um, or whether it's just, like, a, like a newscast. You can't show the TV because um, that that broadcast belo belongs to that owners. Like, um... Like like Fox or CBS or ABC or NBC, it belongs to that specific network, and um, you can't rebroadcast it on like another platform by YouTube. That that's why when you see people streaming games, like if somebody shows like an NBA game, it will like later get claimed by like ESPN or TNT because you can't do that due to copyright. That's why people get their uh, if they show the screen, yeah, that's why they get it 
taken down. And then it says afterwards, it it it's a. Uh, it's copyrighted claimed content by the rightful owner, like an ESPN or a TNT or like an NBA TV claims it or so. So 11.50 left to go. It's a four-point game. Great game between these two teams. Appreciate that. Glad to have you on board once again, man. Jose, what's good here, brother, for stopping on by? Happy New Year out to you guys. Maryland with the basketball. Only trailing by four right now. Michigan, part of an eight or part of a 10-2 run that they are on. Maryland, turnaround jumper. Not a good look right there. Way off the mark, no good. By Jarius Hamilton. Rebound goes to Michigan. Wolverine slow it down at the left wing. Wagner, bounce pass, top of the key. Over into the hands of Brooks. Eli Brooks passes off here into the hands of Mike Smith. Smith over to Dickinson at the top. Dribbles towards his left, hands it off now to Wagner. And the ref's going to blow the whistle. This is going to be a Maryland foul. Around the perimeter. Clock will stop with 11-12. Uh, no, I'm not a big Fortnite fan here, Lee. <laughs> I, well, once you get older, you don't really play much video games because you're all, always working. And that's where I am as far as my life um, or so. I, I don't have time for video games at this point in time. That's what I used to do about 15 years ago. When I was much younger. Michigan with a the ball. They lost control of it. And it goes out of bounds. Eli Brooks. He bobbled it. Off the pass in the post. That's a turnover Michigan. With 11 minutes remaining. It's going to be Maryland ball. Yeah. Definitely chicken man. Um, yeah. They crack down on that stuff. And that's why people get like strikes. If they do those things. 10.50 left to go. Maryland basketball. At the top of the key. Ayala. Moves it back over to the left wing into the hands of Scott. Pass out right corner back to the right wing. Wiggins drives. Dish out left corner. Hamilton over to Scott. Takes the three and he makes it for Maryland. Huge triple. One point game. Dante Scott having a great game tonight here for the Terrapins on the board. He is perfect from the outside. 60-59. 10-20 left to go. Dante Scott, by the way, with 19 points for Maryland. Mike Smith passes over left baseline to Brooks. Bounce pass, and that's going to be a step out of bounds right there by Maryland. They tried to take it away at the left baseline, but Maryland stepped out of bounds with it. Michigan gets the inbound. Top of the key here. Burst of speed. Drives inside. Floats it up with the right hand. And it rolls in. Big time shot. That one's good for two. The right-handed hook going down right there by Franz Wagner. Back to a three-point game. Oh, yeah. Maryland can definitely shoot. Man, have they improved from when I saw them last on TV against Clemson. Maryland takes the open three. Straight away, they missed it that time, though. Rebound Michigan. 9.40 left to go. Wolverines take a pass half court. Mike Smith with the basketball. Moves it back over to Wagner. As he is guarded around the perimeter. Wiggins guarding him. Wagner has it. Passes over to Brooks. And Brooks dishes out to the left corner. Michigan takes the three. They sink it. Isaiah Livers. Big time shot right there with a left corner triple. Michigan up now. 65-59. Final 9-15 left to go. Razorbacks roll. Glad to have you on the stream here, bud, once again. It's going to take... Uh, wow, he's got Maryland in this one by a bunch for his prediction. Nine minutes left to go. Maryland just turned it over. Michigan with basketball. Wolverines have it at the right wing. Mike Smith, he dribbles. Drives inside for Smith. Splits the fenders. Couldn't finish. Dickinson, though. Offensive rebound. Puts it up and in off the glass right there. But a big fell and it counts for two. Hunter Dickinson, the right place, right time. Helping out the little fella on the team. Mike Smith, 5'11". Missed the layup off the drive inside, but... Seven foot one, Hunter Dickinson. He's gonna be, mark my words, the Big Ten Freshman Player of the Year. And man, he is having an impact on this game here for the Wolverines. Already surpassing his season average of 15.4. He has got in this game 16 points tonight, looking for 17 at the free throw line. Dickinson shot there with the free throw line, no good. Rebound, Maryland. 8.50 left to go. Eight point game now. Seven zip run by Michigan. Uh, my prediction, by the way, for this game was I, I took Michigan in this one as Michigan's going to get the steal. Here they go on a two-on-one, and they throw it down off the Euro step inside. Franz Wagner 
with a two-handed flush. Michigan had a lot of trouble turning it over at the first part of this second half. And now it's Maryland that's having a lot of problems turning over the basketball as a late. 8.39 left to go and Michigan coming on a big run as a late. So I had predicted this game, um, Michigan 72, Maryland 59. There's still a lot of time left to go. So yeah, Michigan's definitely going to surpass that. Welcome back, Bradley here once again. If you guys are new, over 20 people watching now, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that sub, and let me know who you got in this game down in the chat below. If you're a Michigan fan, if you're a Maryland fan, this channel's out here for all sports fans, no matter who you root for, by the way, so thanks so much, guys, for stopping them by. Really appreciate my man uh, Razorback's role for dropping them by once again here back in the chat today. He's got Arkansas over Missouri on Saturday, 78-66, to he predicts for that one. Yeah, Missouri yesterday just got completely crushed against Tennessee. Their defense is really good for Tennessee. We'll go on a timeout. Who do I think is winning the Big Ten? Uh, my preseason pick, that was that was Iowa for my preseason pick. I'm, I'm going to stick to Iowa right now, but it, it's it's so wide open. Very much so wide open. Iowa, I think Wisconsin has a great chance as well scoreboard update for college basketball arizona crushing washington 63 to 41 guess who i will not be streaming this season it looks like washington i haven't streamed them in over or uh, i haven't streamed washington in almost two years because uh their their program's just on a downswing here washington just ouch uh they're gonna be one and seven now getting destroyed by arizona tonight Boise State looking good. Watch out for this team if they make the tournament. 56-29. to They only got one loss this year. It's against Houston. Ryan Lake in Michigan for the Final Four for this, for this year. They got four players right now right in double figures in this game. If they, if they produce like this. It's so wide open as far as who can be out there. I, I like the the schedule heats up for Michigan, so we'll see. We'll, we'll really see how they play against when the schedule heats up. Coming up, they got Northwestern and Minnesota. Two of those games, two of those games, they can they can take both of those games there. Oregon takes down Cal Razorbacks. Roll puts out 88-65 for his prediction. Yo, Wisconsin got the W earlier today. Uh, Ronnie, welcome onto the stream here. 163 over or under. Let's see what we got right now. We got 840 left to go. We got 69.59. We got tw uh, yeah, 128 currently. I'm going to take the under for that, for tonight. So I will take the under. We got back to action, 8.30 left to go, 69.59. I feel like it's going to slow down a little bit coming up here, winning the final minutes. Part of a 9-zip run by Michigan, though, in, in the last two minutes. So if they keep on scoring like this at this clip, it could very well be like that. But Maryland takes another three off the back iron, no good. And, yeah, they've got cold from three-point range lately. Michigan gets the rebound, and they're going to slow it down. So they're up by 10. Creighton over Providence, 101-72. to I actually got Providence in that game, bud. They have it at the left baseline. We'll see what actually happens on Saturday. Turn around, jumper, Dickinson for two more. Yeah, that would be a big oof to the Pro Providence Providence's resume right there if uh, they lost by that much. Hunter Dickinson looking good. He's got 18 points and 10 rebounds now. Seven for eight shooting tonight. Maryland. That shot inside, that was no good. They've gone stolen cold from the floor lately. And not a whole lot of fouls here in the second half either. Michigan has it. Mike Smith dribbles now. Bounce pass over to Dickinson. Throws it down with a two-handed flush. Oh, this is getting out of control. Hunter Dickinson taking over right now. 7.20 left to go. Maryland has it. Takes it past half court. 
Free throw circle for Maryland. Tries to back their way in there. Turn around jumper. They got to the fall. That's good for two by Wiggins. 73-61. So explosive by Dickinson as he has just taken over this game. He's got 20 and 10. 8 for 9 from the floor. Big 10 freshman player of the year. Mark my words. Michigan swings it back out to the right wing. Shawnee Brown. Great transfer pickup they got with him from Wake Forest. They got some really good transfers here for this team. Mike Smith from Columbia as he has the basketball now. Moves it back outside. Wagner, deep three. Dials it up, no good. Offensive rebound, 11th rebound of the game by Dickinson, and he gets fouled. So Hunter Dickinson back to the free throw line. Clock will start with 639. Uh, Chris puts out his neighbors play basketball like the 80s, 90s Pistons that play rough. One time he went up for a rebound. He had three elbows from three different people in his shoulder blades. Talk about the pain. Ouch. Oh, man. Michigan getting explosive right now and taking control of this game down the stretch. So you're looking at an undefeated 8-0 team that's winning 6 minutes and 40 seconds of posting their 8th W of the season right now for Michigan. Maryland's just, the, the size has just been a problem tonight for the Terrapins. And it goes all the way back to the offseason when Maryland was looking for a big on their team and when uh, both the, the Mitchell twins, Makai Mikkel Mitchell, they left in the offseason and they were thought to help out Maryland for this season, but they left in the offseason, transferred over to Rhode Island. And uh, yeah, the depth, just a major problem here as far as big men on the roster. It's just a bad matchup. It has turned out to be late in this game. Maryland was able to stay in it with a three-point shot as uh, they start out 9 for 11 from 3, and now they're 11 for 19. As of late, they're missing their 3-point shots, and that's been the problem in this game, trying to live from the perimeter. But in the second half here, they just uh, haven't been able to connect on those. They have gone cold lately, and that's where Michigan has been able to uh, extend this lead to the largest one today by 12. Yep, I saw Bradley's Final Four right there. Louisville, 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 Louisville in the Final Four. Much better than last year's Final Four. Uh, much better than last year's uh, entire bracket, if you guys know what I mean. If you uh, fill that out, because it was filled out by only one team that won it. And it was, uh, hopefully that team will never come back and play and never, uh, never come back. And hopefully it will never play a single game ever again with, uh, with uh, the COVID-19 team that uh, rolled the tournament last year and won the entire bracket. Hopefully we'll never have that ever again. Rutgers over Iowa. Razorbacks rope puts out 68 to 45. Yeah, uh, that's that's half of Iowa's points. What they they scored that that ain't happening there. Uh, they're they're not scoring 45 points. That's too funny though. So 73 61 the score in this game. Michigan here just great production from in. And the thing is, I, Isaiah Livers has had a has had an off game today. He he's got the least amount of points of as anybody in the starting five. He's got seven points, but his teammates have picked them up big time. Dickinson with twenty, Wagner with seventeen, thirteen by Mike Smith. Mike Smith came to play today. He's been efficient. Uh, he, he's five foot ten. He's got himself six rebounds for Mike Smith. Also five assists in this game. He's been great. Eli Brooks got himself 10 points. Shawnee Brown having an off game today. And uh, these are usually the two guys that usually go off for Michigan, either Livers and Shawnee Brown. And it's positive to see here for Michigan that they've been able to do scoring uh, without having them have, well, for them having an off game. And they're still up by 12 here, able to take control of the second half. So Dickinson at the free throw line after the timeout. First one's good. Second one is good. 22 and 11 right now for Hunter Dink D Dickinson in this one. 14-point lead, largest one of the game for Michigan. Maryland with the basketball, 6.30 left to go. Ball into the hands of Ayala. Maryland getting cold shooting lately, and it's not going to help that they're slowing down the basketball here because they need to go with urgency and start scoring. Left double jumper off the step back, no good. They get an offensive rebound, though. They're going to put it back outside. Hamilton takes the three. That one's no good offensive rebound underneath, but they get called. Uh, there's a fall underneath here, and the clock will stop with 6-10. 
It's going to be a Michigan personal on the rebound. That's their that's their fourth of the second half. Inbound Maryland. Ball gets picked off. Here goes Wagner off the steal. Nobody to beat. Going to throw it down. Multiple slam dunks as a late here in this game. And Dickinson had one a couple minutes ago. Franz Wagner had one before the timeout as well. This is getting out of control. 17-2 run by Michigan in the last 4 minutes and 40 seconds. Terrapins have it. Top of the key, Wiggins. He dribbles now as he gets poked loose of the basketball. The ball is going to go out of bounds as he steps out of bounds trying to save the ball. That, I believe, would have been out of bounds by Michigan if Wiggins hadn't gone for that basketball at the baseline. But he tried to save it and he stepped out of bounds with it. Top four teams here for Ryan. For uh, him, Gonzaga, Baylor, Tennessee, and Michigan in that order. He is good out here. 5.30 left to go. What a great game by Michigan. They're looking more and more like the complete team piece in this one. Lob over the top. Over to Dickinson. Puts it home. That's good for two up and in off the backboard. 5.15 left to go. Complete control here. Part of a 19-2 run. Approaching five minutes left. Maryland has it. Dribbles now. Free throw circle. Drives inside on Dickinson. Turnaround jumper. That's an air ball. They do get the offensive rebound now. Maryland going to put it back outside. Under five minutes left to go. Driving to the bucket. Missed it. No good by Maryland. Rebound Michigan. Yeah, same with me. I agree that Arkansas should be in the top 25 as well. Virginia over Virginia. Tech by a lot. Razorbacks roll puts out. Virginia scoring uh, 89. It looks like for his prediction. Four and a half left remaining. Michigan has it. Top of the key, Eli Brooks. They're going to slow down the basketball. Brooks now drives. Dish out to the left corner. Catch and shoot three. Wagner. No good off the back iron. Rebound back to Maryland. Maryland has it. 420 left to go. Pass ahead of the pack. And oh, that is good for two. He, he almost missed the layup in transition. Jarius Hamilton, though, lucky that that was able to get the friendly bounce. So four minutes left to go. Michigan has it, and they're going to slow down the basketball. 79-63. Moves it back over to the left baseline. Dickinson, pass outside. Oh, nice ball perimeter movement. Wide open, right corner three. And it rattles right in there. Mike Smith for the triple is now, and it's good. Put it on the board for Michigan. 82-63. Gigantic run that they are closing the game out right now. Maryland has the ball, and we get a fall here as, or, uh, as the clock will stop. Stoppage in time, 3.40 left to go. Do I think Arkansas is a championship team this year? I will say no to that. They still got a, a, lot, of, a lot of holes on uh, defense for Arkansas. That was a, that was a high, high-scoring game yesterday. As we go to a timeout. Eighty-two sixty-three, three forty left to go here, folks, out in this one. Uh probably not this year, Brian. I am twenty-five, so uh we'll see how it goes in a little bit. I've been um I've been dating my girlfriend. It's almost been five years, so uh coming up next month's been five years. Um, only time will tell, though. Not not during the pandemic, though. <laughs> so, uh, not this year, most likely. Yeah, Arizona crushing Washington, 72-47. to That's just a bad matchup. Arizona's got a great offense. And uh, make it 74-47. to Washington is the, the second worst power conference team this year. Besides Kansas State. When you got production like this, you watch out for this Michigan team. And uh, they're going to be 8-0. They're 340 left to go in this game before closing out 2020. 8-0 to start the season. 3-0 in the Big Ten. And uh, Hunter Dickinson here look, look, looking like uh, he's going to be Big Ten freshman player of the year. 24 points, 11 rebounds. 9 for 10 from the floor. Just torching it up. Terrible matchup tonight for Maryland. This team... Just uh, doesn't really have the front court pieces to contend tonight against Michigan. As, say, Franz Wagner, he has got himself 19 points. 
Mike Smith with 16, having himself a game here. 16.6 rebounds for him and also 6 assists for Mike Smith. And the game that Isaiah Livers and Shawnee Brown have been off, combining for 1 for 8 shooting by the two of them, it, it's been those four today going off with Dickinson, Wagner, Smith, and Brooks. All in double figures. Who do you think is going to win a college football championship? I'm going to take Clemson for this year, Razorbacks roll. Baylor, Gonzaga, Illinois, and Kansas for the Final Four for Chicken Man, if uh, Illinois picks it up. Yeah, still a lot of question marks defensively for Illinois. The thing about them, it's basically two players. It's Io DeSumo and Kofi Coburn right now. So this is my only stream tonight here, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by throughout my streams throughout the year. You guys were awesome. Real MVPs out here. And um, Happy New Year to you guys, by the way. Because uh, where I am, we're about just over two hours remaining before the New Year over here. I'm at 9.50 p.m. right now. So it's going to be Maryland basketball. They get the inbound. 3.35 left to go. Maryland bounce pass right baseline. Dante Scott has it. He was great in the first half. Wiggins moves it back out to the top. Into the hands of Ayala. He's guarded here by Smith. Pass over to the right corner. Two in the shot clock. And you got to be urgent for Maryland. They use the entire shot clock. And they get that one up in and off the glass for two. Hey, thanks so much for the sub chicken, man. Really appreciate it. Michigan has it. Three minutes left to go. No problem, Nat. Glad to have you on the stream here, bud. Michigan looking so good here in the second half. 36-21 to 21 in Michigan, Michigan's advantage here. Inside, Dickinson looking for more. He has got more. Hunter Dickinson on the board with more points in this 184-65. 2.40 left to go. He's got 26 points tonight by Dickinson. Left baseline, Maryland. Has it at the left wing with Wiggins. Roger, welcome back onto the stream here, bud. Maryland, Maryland going to put up the jumper. That's good from the outside for the triple. Happy New Year to you guys. Pizzeria, yep, I've heard about that, called Sal's Pizza. Final 215 left to go. Michigan has it. Wagner at the left wing. Puts the ball into the hands of Brooks. And Mike Smith over to Wagner. Wagner now drives inside, right-handed hook shot, no good off the right side of the rim, rebound back to Maryland. Two minutes left to go. Uh, no, I'm all set with bowl games for college basketball. Uh, March Madness is so much better than bowl games. Pass left baseline, dribbles now back into the key, and that's a right-handed hook shot. That's good for two by Maryland, by Galen Smith. 84-70, final minute 40 left to go. Michigan slowing it down. The player this game tonight, Hunter Dickinson, 26 points, 11 rebounds, one block as well. 10 for 11 from the floor here for what should be the Big Ten freshman player of the year if he keeps this up all season long. Wagner double team moves it back out to the top. Brooks takes the three, hit the front rim, no good though, and rebound by Dante Scott. Maryland in the final minute, 15 left to go. Moves it back to the, to the left wing, and Ayala shoots the three, and he makes it. One minute left to play, and Maryland not going to follow either. Michigan has it. Maryland, though, in an eight-zip run, but too little too late at this stage of the game here. When you shoot the ball 61% from the floor, you're going to most likely find yourself a W on the board, and that's what the Michigan Wolverines will do so tonight when they close down the final 52 seconds. Maryland will pick up the foul. They still got, they still got two fouls to give, or uh, th three fouls to give, actually. They're at four right now. Michigan's at five. Happy New Year out to you guys, by the way. Harry, glad to have you on the stream. And thank goodness indeed, man. Thank goodness 2020 is almost over. Oh, yeah, for sure, Vegas. March Madness is definitely better than bowl games. Yeah, you, you get those bowl games there when you have, like, the opening bowl games or so that happen before Christmas. When you got, like, a, a <laughs> one of those types of matchups that, like, nobody watches. Like, maybe, like, a Mountain West team versus, like, a team from the MAC or something like that that nobody cares about. Or like a Sun Belt versus a MAC 
or a Sun Belt versus a Conference USA team. Yeah, nobody, nobody really cares about those. Before you sign off, final 52 seconds, spike the thumbs up, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Michigan, just so impressive here in the second half, what they have done. Completely controlled this game from the second half. Maryland's three-point shots just couldn't go down and could not sustain it for the second portion of this game. And uh, that's been the difference. And uh, Michigan today dominating the rebounds. 29-22, to 20, it seemed like a whole lot more than that in the favor of Michigan. Hunter Dickinson got 11 of those boards. Hey, thanks so much, Ryan, for stopping on by, man. Really appreciate it here for being a part of the stream once again, bud. And uh, Happy New Year out to you as well, dude. Indeed, uh, Vaughn. College football playoff, for sure. I, I totally agree there. Should definitely create a 24-team playoff. It, it, it's, a, it's a complete crime, what they have done. Only it, it was even worse when they had the BCS going on with two teams. And that was it. Just ranking the top two tank teams before the four-team playoff and making them play in the national championship. But still, I think it's just still a crime that they got four teams playing in the championship because you get cases every single year that you could possibly have like five, six teams that go undefeated. And it's just so unfair. Just like uh, Central Florida a couple of years ago. 42 seconds left to go. Michigan gets the inbounds. Michigan has the top of the key. Passes inside over to Dickinson, and he's going to get stripped of the ball. Goes out of bounds with 35 seconds. Hey, appreciate the Razorbacks roll. I'm glad glad that Arkansas popped up on the schedule. Really glad I was able to cover them. And um, Yeah, there's a chance. If your team's a good team this year, there's a good chance that I'll cover it. As It's usually the good teams that's on national television. Because... Um, they, they don't put bad teams on national television. Like, they're not going to put, like, Kansas State or Washington on TV this year. Bounce pass. Maryland turns over to basketball, and Michigan will get the steal here by Mike Smith as he will take it past half court. And Michigan, impressive. They did this two years ago. They started out undefeated. I think it was, like, 15-0 and before they suffered their first loss. And now Michigan, basically halfway to what they were two years ago. They're going to start out 8-0 here for the Wolverines as they pull off the W. Impressive. On the road, 84-73, outgaining Maryland 38-29 in the second half to do so. As that is a wrap to this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Happy New Year 2021. Keep on going here, folks. Make sure to take good motivation, positive motivation out there to 2021 for this year. And, uh... Keep the ball rolling here and believe in yourself, guys, as you strive to achieve everything that you've ever lived for out to make your best out in the new year for 2021. Uh, yes, Arkansas is going to play on CBS against Missouri. That's not tomorrow. That's on Saturday, so that's on the second there. But uh, appreciate all for stopping on by before I sign off here for the final stream of 2020. Spike the thumbs up. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell as well here, folks, before we sign off. I plan on being back for uh, next game. It's going to be on Saturday, I believe. It's going to be Texas against Kansas at noontime. So uh, thank you guys so much for being a part here. Hopefully, Nag, hopefully, Nag, uh, Michigan keeps on winning so they get put on national TV some more Then I'm able to get the game and able to cover them, which I feel like I, I think that I think that there's going to be more Michigan games if they keep on winning that they get to f fit in the schedule here. But that's a wrap to this one, 84-73. Next stream is going to be Kansas-Texas um, to start out on Saturday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be off from streaming. I might do a couple of recorded videos that I might post over or so. So uh, feel free to check those out when they do get posted. But uh, glad to have you guys out on the channel here. Really appreciate it all. And hopefully a big 2021 out here to everybody from behind the earth basketball so happy new year here make 2021 the best 2020 will be behind us in a couple hours before i go of course big thank you out to the members who have been awesome here supporting my streams throughout the year jack jason and the sports expert thank you so much you guys you guys were incredible every single one of you here the mod squad the real mvps out here on the channel each and every single one of you that became a part here on these streams this year throughout 2020 if we have grown a ton we gained over 87, or it was over 8,700 subscribers we had in just a year span 
And uh, it was insane, guys. Incredible. Cannot thank you guys enough for being a part here on these streams here. And uh, thank you so much to my channel members out here as well. So, Happy New Year. Going to sign off right now. And um, go watch the ball drop and enjoy the rest of your New Year's Eve out with your family, guys, everybody. Going to sign off right now. I'll see you guys back in 2021, everybody. This is Behind the Arc Basketball signing off for the last time here in 2020. Thanks so much, guys. And see you guys out in 2021.